And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Baseball Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Once again, I am your host, Kenneth Gruenfelder, and it's great to have you guys here again on this Friday, December 8th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today, but before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. Again, that really helps the show. It highlights, um, you know, your comment. Um, it makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you, the viewer. Again, the link is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So let's get right into what we are going to talk about for today. So we're going to start off the show by talking about Juan Soto being traded to the New York Yankees in a blockbuster deal. So I'll get into that. Really excited about that, especially being a Yankee fan. So we'll get into that in a, in a second. Um, in the second part of the show, we'll talk about some of the other signings, uh, you know, some of the rumors, you know, trades, things like that uh, around the league. Besides this, I wanted to highlight this because this was, you know, a major thing that happened. Um, in the third part of the show, uh, we'll give you uh, another Shohei Otani update. Um, there's some rumblings that a decision could be made today of where he's going to play. So we'll get into that. And then the final part of the show, uh, something that I saw on MLB that I thought was interesting. We're gonna look at some. We're gonna look back at some of the uh, big trades that were made in the off season in past years. So I'll go through uh, those as well. Um, so that's the rundown for the show today. So let's get right into the big thing, which is Juan Soto becoming a New York Yankee. So I just wanted to pull up his um, his overall stats and the stats from last year. Um, this is I, I pulled up from uh, baseballreference.com, so I just wanted to pull that up really quickly. So these are Juan Soto's overall uh, stats, uh, as well as the stats from last year. Um, very good season, 35 home runs, you know, 156 hits, um, you know, 275 batting average. Which you know, when you look at the Yankees lineup, you know, from last year, uh, you know, not a lot of people had high batting averages, and 275. Although you want to see it higher, of course, but you know it, it's it's Juan Soto. Um, he is going to instantly help this lineup, and of course, you know his career stats as well. He's a World Series champion, three-time All-Star, uh, the World Series champion back with the Nationals back in 2019. Um, this guy is unbelievable, and um, I I really just did not think the Yankees were going to get him. You know, I I, I really just it seemed like. It was going to be another one of the these off seasons where nothing was really going to happen. They were going to make some of these moves to, you know, they would think is going to improve the team, but I didn't expect anything major to happen. Um, you know, and especially, you know, because last year, you know, there was talks of maybe Soto getting traded. And, um, well, even, well, during the season, at least, uh, you know, in 2023. But, you know, the Yankees, they had to worry about bringing, you know, Judge back, you know, the season before. Because, you know, the Yankees, maybe you go and trade for Soto, and, you know, if Judge doesn't come back, at least you got Soto, who's younger. Um, but now you flash forward to now, and the Yankees did something that the Yankees of the past would do, and they went out and they traded for one of the best players in baseball to pair with another one of the best players in baseball, if not the best player in baseball, and that is Aaron Judge. So I'm really excited. Um, so we'll go through the specifics of the deal. So, um, the Yankees got Juan Soto. They also did get uh, Trent Grisham as well, um, a guy that plays very well out in center field. Um, so, I have no problems with that. They did give up a lot of pitching um, to get Soto. They gave up Michael King, Drew Thorpe, one of their uh, you know top pitching prospects, Johnny Brito and Randy Vasquez. Who came up and uh, you know started some games for them last year, um, as well as well as coming out of the bullpen. And they also gave up longtime you know backup catcher Kyle Higashioka, who's been in the organization since 2008. Um, so yeah, it, it it was tough to you know let some of these guys go, but it had to be done. It had to be done. Um, you know a lot of people are saying the Yankees fleeced the Padres. Um, you know Michael King, he uh, you know. He was one of our best relievers last year, and, you know, he actually, uh, you know, was one of our starters, you know, sorry, I'm holding back his knees here, um, 
he was one of our starters, you know, at one point last year because the Yankees had so many injuries to their starting rotation. Um, so and he actually was pretty good as a starter. But um, you had to make the steal. You, you really did. The biggest thing for me is, um, you know, the Yankees are getting all these left-handed bats. You know, they got Soto now. They got Trent Grisham. And they also actually went out and they traded for Alex Verdugo and gave up some young pitching prospects as well. Um, also, they gave up Greg Weiser, too, who's been up in the majors, but he wasn't really uh, that good. Um, so this Yankee team is, is definitely different, um, you know, because... You know, you go back to 2021, you know, they get knocked down in the wild card round. Then 2022, the big trade was Josh Donaldson and Isaiah kiner Falefa. Now, the Yankees did win, you know, 99 games, but, you know, they went to the the uh, the American League Championship Series and got swept. And really, nobody looked at that deal as anything special. It didn't turn out to be anything. Um, IKF ended up being a utility guy last year. And, you know, he was playing the outfield, Um you know, during the season. He was our starting center fielder at one point, which just because Harrison Bader was hurt. And then they traded Bader. And, you know, it, it's just... Compare that to now. Because last year also, you had Jake Bowers, Willie Calhoun, Billy McKinney. You had these guys, you know, filling in when, you know, our starters were hurt. Now, you replaced all of them. Now, they did bring back Billy McKinney, um, you know, for depth, which is good. But I hope we don't see him you know, in 2024 in the majors. No offense to him, but I just, you know, this is, we go from that to now we have Juan Soto, Trent Grisham, and Alex Verdugo. And on top of that, Jason Dominguez is going to come back at some point during the year. So you could have a starting outfielder of Soto and left, starting outfield of Soto and left, Dominguez in center and judge and right. I mean, I am really excited. I like that. The Verdugo trade was made before the Soto trade. I like the Verdugo trade even more. Alex Verdugo has been a productive player with the Red Sox. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see. But he has some, you know, issues. Like, he was benched a couple times with how hard he was running to first base. So, you know, that's something to keep an eye on. But he's a productive player. I mean, I'd take him over what we had last year. Um, you know, it, it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be probably Soto either in right or left. Verdugo in right or left, and then Judge in center, which a lot of people are a little worried about just because, you know, Judge's size. And he does play a very good center field, but, you know, you'd rather him be out in right field where he traditionally is. But we got to wait till uh, Dominguez comes back. And Trent Grisham, he's going to be a guy that comes in and, um, you know, he's going to be a defensive replacement late in games. So um, I'm really excited. Now, the other players that have been there, like, excuse me, like Stanton, Rizzo, LeMayu, those guys are going to have to, you know, pick it up. Um, obviously, Rizzo's coming back from the concussion. I expect him to be better than how he was. I, I, I think the concussion really impacted him because, I mean, it lines up. Against the Padres, he gets hurt, and then after that, he just wasn't the same. So I'm thinking he's going to bounce back. DJ LeMayu had a better second half, but still, he's nowhere near the player he was when the Yankees first got him. And John Carlos Stanton, what are we? What are the Yankees going to get out of him? You know, um, I think with the addition of Soto and Verdugo, it's going to make the guys in the in the lineup already better. Um, you know, and uh, I'm really I, I'm really excited. I, I really did not expect this, but you know, when the um, reports kept coming out that. You know, the Yankees are really aggressively are aggressive with trying to get this deal done and getting Soto. It was like, maybe they pulled this off, and they and they did. And I give them a lot of credit for that. Um, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but, uh, you know, I, um, I, I'm, really, I'm really excited with uh, what, um, you know, what this team is going to look like now i'm not going to sit here and say that you know the yankees are going to be you know 20 uh you know 2024 champions i i'm not i'm not going to sit here and say that but um you know it's uh it, it's looking good and they, they still got some more moves to be made obviously you know with the pitching as well you know because they they got they they lost a lot of arms here um you know 
with these trades. And, um, you know, that was something that was kind of a problem last year, especially with the, you know, the injuries to the rotation and, you know, guys not being effective. So they're going to have to go and improve that. The bullpen, you know, for me is not a concern. I think the, the biggest concern right now for me is the rotation um, because we got some question marks there. They didn't trade Clark Schmidt, so he could pro he's probably going to be their fifth starter. Um, you hope Nestor Cortez can bounce back and stay healthy. You hope Rodon can stay healthy and bounce back. You're not worried about – I'm not worried about Garrett Cole. Um, but now – the next thing on the uh, on the agenda is to go out and sign Yamamoto. So, um, you know, it's um, go get it done. Now, they're going to have some uh, teams to compete with. The Mets are one team that's going to be competing with them. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Uh, we will see what happens. But, um, you know, it, it's uh, so far the Yankees have really done well this offseason. They... Uh, you know, Brian Cashman said they're trying to get some outfielders left-handed, preferably, and that's exactly what they did. They got Verdugo, they got Trent Grisham, and the big prize, of course, Juan Soto, which I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe he's a New York Yankee. Um, now, obviously, people are talking about, are we going to extend them? Let's see how I, I got to look at it is, and it's going to be hard to do so because it's, it's always going to be in the back of your mind. Just enjoy this season. With him on the Yankees, with him hitting, you know, at the top of the line, wherever they're going to put him, um, you know, if he's going to be batting second or is Judge going to continue to bat second and Soto's going to bat third, whatever they're going to do, um, I'm just going to sit back and just enjoy this season because the Yankees, with what they've done, they're going to have a bounce back season. They should. And if they don't, I, I mean, then I'm going to be beside myself. But I'm going to enjoy this season uh in 2024 and then when we get to the end then that's when they're gonna have to figure it out but i mean listen soto is still very young i mean this is a guy that you would give you know like a 12-year contract to because of his age and the yankees have the ability to do so um it seems like they're willing to go over the 300 million dollar payroll um you know listen they felt the pressure from the fan base the fan base was not happy after an 82 and 80 season um, and, uh, you know, Brian Cashman, I haven't been, you know, a big fan of him, you know, in recent years, just because of some of the trades that he's made, but at least with the trades that he's made now, especially getting Juan Soto, that's kind of gone away. Um, and you know, whatever happens with Soto, they, they at least went out and they got him. So whatever happens after that, you know, we'll deal with, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall Cashman for whatever, you know, however Soto performs, um, you know, uh, here. So, you know, they went out and got one of the best players in baseball. You know, I mean, I, people are talking about, he doesn't play a great outfield. Okay. You know, and I, I, I get it, but the good outweighs the bad. He is one of the best players in baseball. Um, and, he is going to he should take advantage of that short porch in right field. We got lefties. And you got Verdugo, you got Grisham, you got Soto, and if Rizzo can bounce back, you got Austin Wells, who hopefully will develop into a good player, good offensive player. You know, he did show some power when he did come up uh from the minor leagues last year. You got a lot of lefties in your lineup. Now, and the lineup's gonna be tough to navigate through. Um and guys just gotta stay healthy. That's the bottom line. So, again, I'm really excited with this. Um, but let me know what you guys think about the Soto trade. Where do the Yankees now stack up with the rest of the league? Uh, again, I'm not going to anoint them as, you know, World Series champs. But, you know, they definitely are a, be a much better team than what they were uh, a couple weeks ago. So, uh, with that, we are going to take our first break of the show. And then when we come back, we'll talk about some of the other trades and signings uh, around the league. That'll be what we do uh, in the second part of the show. So stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC baseball podcast. <laughs> 